Now, when someone jumps into conclusions and says, Mizco, UX designers are going to be replaced by AI. I honestly cringe a little bit on the inside. Now, it's a little bit because yes, it could happen, but I honestly do not believe it will happen anytime soon or even into the immediate future. Now, if you don't have five minutes to spare, here's the TLDR. I do believe AI will be replacing a small portion of UX designers. Hands down, it's going to happen. For example, if you become a UX designer today, you, if you get a job, your first responsibility will probably be around UI design. It happens in every single company. You will probably be pushing pixels. And if in five, 10 years later, you are still pushing pixels within Figma, I cannot confidently say you won't be replaced because I do believe you will either be replaced by someone a little bit more experienced or AI will probably be doing a lot of or even majority of the work that you do. However, if you are a UX designer and today you are pushing pixels in five, 10 years time, you've already done a lot of UI design. You've done quite a bit of user research. You've done some user testing. You've facilitated some workshops. You've got yourself into some strategy and you've really exposed yourself to more of the complex type of work that is responsible by a UX designer then I will confidently say you will not be replaced by AI. But if you want to be throwing around the Skynet scenario, then obviously we'll all be replaced and my UX design role would be the least of my worries because I would be trying to figure out how do I get away from this machine with 10 mechanical arms shooting bullets at me like Now, if you've got some time to spare, I want to break down my thoughts and my perspective around how AI will be integrated into our industry and why I believe it will not be replacing our entire workforce. So let's get right into it. What is up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mizgo here. Now, the very first reason why I genuinely believe that UX designers will not be replaced as a whole anytime soon is because... UX design tends to sit at the lower end of the priority list. Now, not to say UX design is not important. I'm a UX designer and I believe I am important and I believe our industry is very important and it is one of the factors to why a product is successful. You need to understand that innovation tends to happen in business and innovators tend to want to capture the largest market because they want to make the most money possible. So if you understand the correlation between business, innovation, and AI, you'll start to realize there tends to be a bit of a priority list in terms of which industries get disrupted first. Not to say it would never be disrupted, but disrupted first. Just with a very quick Google search, which I believe you should just take with a grain of salt, you don't really see UX design or even design in these lists. Now, not to say that the design industry is not big enough. The design services industry is estimated to be 250 billion by 2022, but it is a tiny, tiny, tiny comparison to something like the transport and logistics industry, which is a $8.6 trillion industry. So if you were an innovator in the AI space, which market would you try to go capture? I'll leave that one with you. Now to further this case, let's just go ahead and take a look at three different companies that we all know who are also at the forefront of innovation. Now, as you can see, within their operating team or their employees, the design team and UX design team specifically either does not even exist on this pie chart or it is a very, very small part of the entire operating team. Now, if just these companies alone were to invest a lot of capital into innovation, into AI to help streamline their processes and their tasks within their organization, which department would it be the most impactful? Would it be the tiny little UX design team that makes up 0.1% of the entire company? Or would it be something a little bit more significant? And I will also leave that one with you as well. Now, this is why I just believe that AI tools aren't going to replace UX designers, but instead they work hand in hand. Now, the second reason why I don't believe UX designers will be replaced as a whole anytime soon is because AI just simply does not work as a standalone function within an organization. And AI needs to be fed lots and lots of data with a very experienced data science team to learn how a product or service has performed in the past. 
And then it also needs that very experienced data science team with a product team to help guide and instruct it to find patterns, correlations, and insights that the product team needs to action on. So that is why I just don't believe AI is going to replace UX designers as a whole, but instead it's going to be a tool that helps experienced product teams make better decisions through data-informed insights. Now, the third reason is that UX design just tends to stem into so, 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 so many different departments. We've got micro copywriting, user research, workshop facilitation, UI design, product management, growth design, A-B testing. There's just so many different things and I just don't believe an AI can replace all this very different and diverse type of work. We don't just work in digital devices, we have a lot of human interaction, and most of the work that we do is actually quite complex. Now, try to imagine an AI trying to manage stakeholders. I just don't see that happening. Now, one really good example would be AI trying to be implemented into chatbots. Even to this day, chatbots have not been able to replace an entire support team. To this day, I am still talking to human beings on a live chat to try support my issues. However, what I've realized is that AI chatbots are working hand in hand with support teams to deliver a better experience. Now, the list of reasons on why I believe UX designers will not be replaced by AI can go on forever. However, there is one thing that I do believe is working right now and it's actually streamlining a lot of our work as UX designers, and that is automation. But there's a big difference between AI and automation. Now, think about it. A lot of our UX design work stems into UI design, which has been around for many, many years. And I believe a lot of the work in UI design is repetitive, it's componentized, it's reusable. So you can already see that a lot of automation, even for example, Figma community is automating a lot of this type of work. Designers from all around the world are creating pre-made templates and kits and designs that you can utilize in your own flow right now, this moment. And that automates a bit of that process already. But then on the other end, A-B testing, multivariant testing, a lot of my clients, when we are running experiments, we are already automatically driving traffic to better performing experiments. So that is why I believe automation is going to have a big impact on the UX design industry. However, at the same time, I don't believe it's eating away at our industry. I believe it's helping our industry grow. Because you need to understand, one of the key reasons to why a business is successful is because they are different. They are solving a problem differently. They have their own unique selling proposition. So if every single company was automating their processes and they had the exact same brand, exact same design, exact same process and experience, no business would be successful at all. So even if companies are utilizing these automated processes, they still need a team to personalize it, tailor it to their own, make it unique, so then it is differentiated from their competitors. Now with all that said, I do believe big tech and also companies like Figma, Sketch and Adobe XD are already thinking about the next step. How do we incorporate automation and then how do we incorporate AI into our products so we can automate a lot of these mundane and boring tasks that allow UX designers to focus more on the important types of work that they are responsible for. So who knows where we'll be in 10, 20 and 30 years time and I don't really care and I don't think that really matters either. I think what's more important is that if you are a UX designer or if you are looking to become a UX designer is to focus on mastering the skills first and then think about how you can continuously upskill, grow, gain more experiences because that will keep you at the forefront of technology. Now, even though I've been a UX designer for over 14 years and I've worked with a lot of data science teams, even to this day, I don't believe I will be replaced and I don't believe our industry will be replaced either. And the only takeaway that I've had from my exposure to AI is that it works hand in hand with what we do and never have I ever feared that it will replace our industry, at least as of right now and the immediate future. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think AI will be replacing UX designers? All right, guys, Misko signing off. I'll see you guys in another video very soon. What the?